Judges chosen by the California State Athletic Commission will score each bout using the 10-point must system. The winner of each round gets 10 points. The loser, nine or less. Scoring is based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. There are no kicks or knee strikes to the head of a grounded opponent. Elbows and forearm strikes to the head of a grounded opponent are now legal in strike force since the promotion has adopted the unified rules of MMA. The doctor or the referee can stop the fight. Tonight's two championship tilts are scheduled for five five-minute rounds, while the other two bouts on tonight's main card will be contested over three five-minute rounds. All right, fans, here we go. Lightweights in the cage, scheduled three five-minute rounds. Introducing our referee in charge of the action, Big John McCarthy. right there. That's what he needs to get power punching going. And he shoots. Aoki tried to time it with a knee strike to the middle, but Beerbomb able to close the gap immediately, looking to wear down the Dream Lightweight Champion along the fence. Lyle Beerbaum says he traded a meth addiction for MMA. Says he sold his soul for six years when he sold drugs, got hooked on meth, and committed eight felonies. One year in the Washington State Penitentiary where he saw the UFC on TV. Morrow, he got out of jail. Eight days later, he had his first amateur fight. Reminds me of another story of a certain legend, Frank Shamrock, who uh, you have the same kind of background, my friend, and were able to save not only your life, but become one of the greats, and Beer Bomb attempting to do the same. Uh, martial arts is a powerful tool to unite communities and give you something to do positive with your life. It's working out for Beer Bomb right here, but he's got to get off the bottom. This is not where he wants to be against Aoki. Should almost add a different text message poll question. Who has the fancier pants as here is Aoki going in for the kill? Trying to dig his hooks in. What can Beerbaum do here, Frank? Well, he can scrape him off on the fence if Beerbaum gets his back on the fence, if he whistles his back over to the fence. But Aoki's got brilliant position here. Rear naked choke. He's got the neck crank. That really hurts the neck right there. He's not choking him yet. He's cranking that neck. And, and Beerbaum is forced to tap just like that. Shinya Aoki records his 17th win via a form of submission. And you know what? In light of what has happened in the land of the rising sun, a huge celebration not only for Aoki, but even the fans here with the flags. And all of us, of course, rally behind Japan. A very impressive win for Aoki. Were you at all surprised, Frank, with how easy he was able to vanquish a guy who's been very good on the ground? Honestly, no. I didn't see that coming. And I also didn't see Beerbaum closing that distance and getting into a grappling game. I thought he'd make it a brawl. I thought he'd make it kind of dirty to start out. And to be fair, Aoki has twice the fight experience as Lyle Beerbaum, but Beerbaum's now tasted defeat two times in a row. And here's your neck crank, Frank Shamrock. Well, it was all about positioning here. And Beerbaum was throwing his hips inside. But Aoki had that whizzer on him, and he turned that whizzer into a leg trip and then followed that. Here's that open guard position. He just kind of hung out there and waited for his advance, and it was very methodical. Took his time. Once he got the back there, you see the neck crick. It's all the way figure four lock, legs around. He's cranking the neck and choking him. That is a dangerous hold, and he had to tap. So the dream lightweight champion comes back to strike force, and what a performance. Here that, in the first round with the submission. that's not the first time he's uh, beaten somebody via neck crank. He beat Todd Moore at Dream 6 in 2008. And we're talking about a lightweight, the only lightweight to ever win via two go-go platters. The only man with two go-go platters. This guy's a submission magician. Of course, Brad Imes in the heavyweight division's also done it a couple <laughs> of times. Now let's go inside the cage where Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by. 
Ladies and gentlemen, with a time of one minute, 33 seconds of round number one, a face crank ends this contest as the fighter taps out. And true to form, he is the winner by way of submission, Tobicon Judon Shin Young.